editing refers to the technique of alternating multiple scenes that happen at the same time, but in different locations. A classic example is the on-screen phone call, where we have two characters chatting to each other in different locations. Although the scenes would have been shot separately, they've been cut together in the edit in a way that portrays them happening simultaneously, allowing the viewer to watch the two characters have a conversation in what looks like real time. Indeed, parallel editing is a clever technique that's used in many films, which has seen directors push the boundaries of how it can be used to enhance the story. On the face of it, the technique helps viewers follow a narrative, but it can also be used to introduce characters, highlight core themes within a film, and evoke emotions such as intrigue, tension, or empathy. Just look at this sequence from the silent film A Corner in Wheat. The movie tells of a greedy tycoon who tries to monopolise the wheat industry, causing many to no longer afford bread. Here, the director uses parallel editing to portray the inequality caused to different classes of society. As the footage cuts back and forth between two very diverse scenes, the poor without enough money to eat, while the rich indulge in their lavish feasts, the audience is made strikingly aware of the economic disparity caused. But the technique can also be used to directly add layers of suspense or tension to a story's narrative. Take this sequence from The Silence of the Lambs, for example, where the FBI are raiding the house they believe belonged to the antagonist, Buffalo Bill. We can see here that the use of parallel editing is carefully designed to mislead the viewer, as we watch thinking the FBI are about to rescue the captured victim, getting closer and closer, but at the end we find out they've made a mistake and are at the wrong house, disappointing the viewer along with agent in charge, Jack Crawford. There's no one here, Jack. Clarice. So parallel editing, cutting between two scenes that are happening at the same time. But what do we need to think of when we're implementing this technique into our own videos? Well, first off, preparation is key. Storyboard as much as possible so you can shoot the right footage to work with in the edit and of course know how your narrative will play out. This will make your decisions easier on the timeline. Secondly, to be successful with your edit, you should be working with two scenes that work well together when cut back and forth. Make sure this technique helps you actually tell your story and isn't just thrown in for the sake of it. With parallel editing, it's also important to consider the pacing of your edit. Think about the emotions you want to evoke with your viewers and edit your footage accordingly, keeping the narrative in mind at all times. Sometimes one scene might warrant more viewing, and at other times, you might give them equal screen time. But the most important thing, like when we're using all editing techniques, is to never forget the audience. Put yourself in their shoes and consider how parallel editing can grip them to your story. So as you can see there, there are a few things to consider when you're working with the technique of parallel editing, but it's nothing that should be stopping you from heading out there and having a go yourself. So in true Luma Touch style, we've done just that. And I'm gonna show you now how I'd edit together a phone conversation on the Luma Fusion timeline. So as you can see here, me and Amy have both recorded two sides of a conversation separately. Amy's in Seattle and I'm in London. So we both have our various takes here, which I'm color coding Amy in purple and me in yellow, which I'm doing so I can easily see who is who when I bring the clips down onto the main track. My first step was to tackle Amy's side of the conversation and make cut points where she was waiting for me to respond in the pretend phone call. And then I'm gonna bring down my clips down and reorder them on the timeline so the conversation makes sense. So I've got Amy, me, Amy, me, Amy, me, and so on. So you can see here that I've got multiple of the same line where I've redone the take. And I like this because it gives me most flexibility when bringing these clips together so I can choose the take that flows nicely from one to the next. So after I whittle this down and the conversation is structurally in place, I just added my extra B-roll. And this was great for showing reaction shots and creating nice sequences on screen, switching between the scenes regardless of who was speaking. I also made a few JNL cuts between the clips so I didn't have any harsh audio changes. And once I was happy there, 
I added sound effects, music and titles to just really polish it off. And this is how it came out, which I'm quite pleased with. And yes, it is a shameless plug for our upcoming live webinar, which you're all, of course, invited to. Caroline, how's it going? How's London? Hi, Amy. I have something amazing to tell you. Oh my gosh, what is it? We're running another live LumaFusion webinar on Friday the 13th of October, and I can't wait! Friday the 13th? I don't know, that day's supposed to be pretty unlucky. Oh, I don't really believe in bad luck, Ames. I just think we'll make our own luck, and what will be, will be. <laughs> Caroline? Hello? Oh goodness, never mind. <laughs> Caroline? I'm okay, Amy. I'm okay. The show must go on. Have fun with this technique. Give it a whirl for yourself and let us know how you get on in your own video projects. Please do tag us in the comments below and ask us any questions you like. I'll see you right here next week for more content from the Luma Touch Academy. So until then, happy editing. Bye.